Kristen! Kristen! Wake up! Wake up! Alice, if this is about monsters again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. OMG. Alice, what the hell happened here? Can we just cut to the chase? I mean, it's pretty obvious. As if? Alice and Mary Kate Mahoney, you better come. All right, all right. Just keep it down, will ya? Like I said, it was an accident, okay? I swear, I just. It was those stupid boys from class again. They're making fun of me for believing in Santa, and. Well, I wanted to prove them wrong. So I climbed behind the tree to hide, and. He tripped. I swear I just want to catch him, that's all. Catch him? You're eight years old. He's like 600 pounds. How the hell were you going to do that? I had a plan. First, I set up this. Look, it doesn't matter. We're wasting valuable time. Now, you see Netflix, right? We got to clean this up and get rid of the body, quick. There ain't no deserts in Chicago, so we got to find some pigs to feed him to or Dexter this shit up. You're kidding, right? Yeah, you're right. You haven't got a boat and you managed to blow your driver's test last month. We'll have to bury you in the ravine behind the neighbor's yard. Are you crazy? We have to call the cops and tell them some whack job dressed as Santa broke into our house. It is Santa. I saw him come down the chimney with his bag full of presents. See? I even checked his belly and his beard. I killed Santa, Kirsten. I killed Santa. And we need to get rid of the evidence quick just, before- Just shut up and let me think for a second. We ain't got that kind of time. Look, you said it was an accident, right? So we'll just wake up mom and dad and, and tell- You're calling me crazy? Saw your life out, Kirsten. Dal ground us for something like two months. Yeah, and if the cops find out we tried to cover this up, we'll go to prison for like ever. No one's gonna find out if you just keep your mouth shut and stick to the plan. Plan? What plan? We can't just bury a friggin' body in the neighbor's yard. Don't pussy out on me now, Kirsten. Hey, listen here, you little shit. You can't just go around burying bodies and get away with it. It's not the 70s anymore, okay? There's way too many cops and, and feds and like special Scientologists. We'll get caught for sure. <sighs> you know what? We should burn them. They just gotta smash out his teeth first. Okay, what about the reindeer? Hmm, and the sleigh? Did you think about them? Probably up on the roof right now. Uh, unless he parks on the side of the street like the mailman. I, either way, there's gotta be some sort of like military level Google Maps like tracking system that will lead the elves right here. I mean, if Santa Claus and the flippin' reindeer are real, the elves must be real too, right? No. No, 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 we have to tell mom and dad. They'll call the normal police and explain everything. It'll be fine. You'll understand, right? I mean, after all, he was trespassing. Technically, you even had the right to shoot him. It doesn't matter, Kirsten. Don't you see? Even if our parents and the police do believe us, do you really think the world will care about a lousy technicality when there's no more Christmas? I dreamt that maybe I'd grow up to see a day where the class don't pick on me no more. Or maybe I'd have a friend to help defend me. Just like your dreams of that cheerleading scholarship and being crowned junior prom queen with heartthrob quarterback Zachary Marshall as your king. Somehow, they just don't sound like the futures of the kids who killed Santa. You couldn't just take a friggin' picture, could you? Num nuts. I still can't see this way anywhere from here. Can you? Maybe he is just some sort of like festive thief or kitty serial killer. How many times do I have to tell you? It is Santa, I saw- Ow! Oh my God, I broke a nail. I just got the manicured for Zach's New Year's Eve party. Oh no, my looks. Zach will never love me now. Whatever, we're in this lame old sitch because you wanted to impress a bunch of boys. What was that? Just a raccoon or something. Now. Let's get back to work. Stop, Stop Christy! Stop! You're killing him! You're killing him! Oh, shit. He 
he's alive. He's alive. Of course I'm alive. Jesus, Mary, Jesus, Mary. Oh. Oh my God, I I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be, yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. Ah, oh, what the heck? Not again. Do you uh, do you need to go to the hospital or something? No, this is just a minor inconvenience. See, something like this happens to me almost every year, and you aren't the first ones trying to bury me alive. He shan't be the last, is he? For centuries. People have been trying to prove my existence, capture me. <laughs> Apparently, a photograph won't just do, will it, Tiny Alice? But you were dead. You had a table stuck in your head. How are you not dead? How? How, how, how? How do you think I've been doing this all these years? Huh? 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 And how do you think I knew? You wanted kickboxing lessons for Christmas. And how, how did I know that you wanted Stacy Freeman to get a nose it in time for Zach Marshall's New Year's Eve party? Well, will she? I need it now more than ever. Oh, Kirsten, Kirsten, it, it doesn't quite work that way. You see, Stacy Freeman will get what she deserves. Just like you, just like everyone. Naughty and nice. A fitting gift for all, whether you've been honest or kind, and for those who've been trying to kill a defenseless old man! Oh, come on. It was so blatant an accident. She didn't mean it. Yeah. Uh, I'm real sorry, Santa. I only wanted to catch you. And burying me? Very, very naughty. That was her idea. Hey, screw you! I'm only eight years old! Why are you listening to me anyway? Language. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Give us a lump of coal or something? <laughs> you know, I've never, I've never really cared much for mercy. After all, there's nothing quite like the sound of little brats screaming as they're being eaten alive! <laughs> Right away.